Cold Pursuit is a movie about Liam Neeson, and he plays a character. Well, it's not about Liam Neeson, but he plays a character who simply his son ends up getting murdered and he is looking for revenge in a cold type of manner. And uh, yeah, so I'm and then revolving around this movie, there was a lot of controversy through like uh, stuff that Liam Neeson has said pertaining to like uh, a situation that he was in that his character was going through or whatever. I'm not going to get into that because I'm going to actually put it to this podcast in the description of my thoughts on that. But just getting into the thing about this movie, I went into it just expecting like you know to come out really liking it you know and i got the opposite once i left the theater so the best things about this movie was the concept it was simple it's one of those simple concepts to where you can go anywhere with it just depending on how it's executed is just the main thing about it but i love the concept and like a lot of the fighting scenes i loved it i really did love it it was actually pretty cool and engaging. It wasn't anything like Taken or anything like that, but it was actually pretty fulfilling. And some of the murders or whatever that happened up in the movie. But really, that's simply all that I liked about this movie. Because this movie was just riddled with a lot of just bad stuff. So, um, just starting off with the characters. Main character, with Liam Neeson, he was just so bland. And he, there was any barely any character development. He had no arc. He was the same person he was in the beginning of the film as the last. Wasn't anything different. It was just, uh, and, and and it was just like he really had. And like I said, he was so bland to the point where it was two things that happened up in the movie. It's one of them I'm not gonna give away because it happens. It's not delivered in the trailer. But his son, like uh, the other one is that his son dies and just his reaction to it wasn't the type of reaction that you would think a, a person in real life would react to it. I know certain people, act, you know, react certain ways, but it's like he has somewhat of a reaction, but then it all goes away throughout the film and he just doesn't really have any emotion from it after that. And it's just like, ah, I don't know. It was just, just garbage. Um, The villain had more he was like a little charismatic he was you know he was a villain that's basically what it is he was just a villain and you can tell just by just the first introduction of his character because he acts like a douche all throughout the film and it's like your first impression your first thought is like yep he's the bad guy and that's exactly what you get when you first meet him there was nothing really more to him besides he was a bad guy he had certain things in his life going on but it was like he was just a bad guy a douche a douchey bad guy an asshole but the bad guy nonetheless um and basically oh my god like there was really no type of depth into any of the characters really no depth um, the son, the Liam Neeson's uh, character's son that dies up in there is like literally you get no time with him to feel like the, you know, impact of his death. It's like it just happens and then, you know, it's whatever. And like literally, not really giving out any spoilers, but he's in four scenes of the movie. Two of them while he's alive and two of them while he's dead. There's really nothing more to the character so where you kind of feel a little bit for the son but you kind of feel more and more for the main character who has to deal with the loss and it just it really affects the you know kind of like you know what we feel out of this movie um and this movie did feel rush it, it just it, it, it matter of fact it didn't feel rush it was rushed from like certain things that happened like from the beginning with the time spent with his family to the death of his son to the morning to him starting to get revenge all of it happens within a 10 minute span in the entire runtime of the movie and it's just it, it happens so fast and even when he's getting revenge with uh it's it's rush as there is no prior knowledge as to him knowing him being able to know how to take down like these men with guns single-handedly as an ordinary average guy he just does it without any like just 
he does it with with he does it effortlessly, and it just he's not only taking them down single handedly, just he does it with just crazy ease and barely any harm done to him, and it's just it's really just unbelievable. Like it, it's really like you know you got these trained dudes with guns. And he just bam, 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 bam. And then it's over. It's like, damn, like, did they even give you, you know, like, why are these men being hired by the bad guy if a, a guy that works an ordinary job can just take them down like that? Like, are they back up? Like, why are you got these guys surrounding you? Like, they really no help. And then there's a sub, there's subplots to this movie that just begin and lead to nowhere. And there's a certain subplots to where uh, it, it just... It has to do with like a character on the bad side and another character and it just it happens and then it's resolved I guess you could say resolved or whatever. I mean, it's done real quick to where it's like that really wasn't necessary And then there was another one that happens all throughout the movie that has no major impact in the movie itself And it's like what the hell? I don't know. It's just why um <laughs> and the jokes were like hit or miss some of them were cool but the majority of them was just kind of like n no i don't know it was just I, I, like by the time certain jokes hit i was just out of the movie just completely out of it because of just the unrealistic nature of characters and events that happen within the movie and just to go on with the characters like even some of the other characters just have unrealistic reactions to certain situations and that's just to add because that's just something i kind of forgot to even add to the characters but it's not even just those characters it's just man it was all over the place but just in conclusion this movie is it has boring characters with no interest to offer with nothing interesting to offer and it's rushed the humor is eh, and it just really don't have anything truly to offer in the overall scope of the film and I was just truly disappointed by what it delivered to us me expecting not you know over expecting a lot but just expecting to be entertained and I just simply wasn't I was ready to go uh, I give this movie a four it wasn't like the worst thing I've seen this year but it is one of the worst things that I've seen this year and I just was like really really disappointed but Hey, I mean, that's the way the cookie crumbles.